hey guys welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is grace today i wanted to compare the pack safe city safe cx anti-theft square crossbody bag versus the travelon anti-theft tailored convertible crossbody clutch i know it's a mouthful and the features of both bags and which of the two bags i prefer but to me comparing the pack safe bag and the travel on bag the pack safe one is more square so it retains its shape even if it's empty and the travel on one is a little thinner to me the pack safe bags seem to be a little bit more superior in terms of a lot of things let me show you like the zippers to me look way more superior than this one like this one kept getting caught in there and if you see if you compare the two if i bring them closer you can see that the paxif one is more superior than the travel on one then the other thing is this clips right here the ones that you secure the bags on a chair and as you can see this one from Paxif looks more superior to this one from Travelon. These are really easy and this one they just open like this and then it closes like you have to flip like that. While this one from Paxif is once you open it down like that, you hook it and then you twist it and then it doesn't even stay locked. I don't... Okay, there we go. Looking at the strap, this is from Travelon and this is from Paxip. They're both anti-slash straps. This one feels more superior to me. And then the zippers, they have this locking system right here that the two zippers come in together like this, like that. Then you open this, and then you put it on and you lock it and that's secure. And these zippers are anti-puncture. I'm not too sure about this ones. Okay, and then I, I don't know, for some reason I just like the clean look of the Paxif bag. There's nothing at the back, it's just one clean look. Guaranteed this one it has a zipper on the side which is easy for easy access stuff. I like these little hooks, but again to me they feel a little, a little I don't know flimsy. The material is also a little thinner. There's another one here. This is just an open pocket. The good thing with this bag from Tavalon is that it it's just a regular bag with a strap like this, and you can take out the strap on both ends because the strap comes here and here and you can attach this wrist and it becomes a wristlet like that so this is good because you can have you know to save space if you're traveling you can carry this bag and it's gonna be both a crossbody and a wristlet so you don't have to carry two bags let me show you what's on the inside what I like about the travel on one is that it has a little bit of organization it has this bag again they are both rfid then it has this part maybe for your cards or whatever you want to put in there and then it has this one and then i love this from travel on it's this little light in here at night you can check what's in your bag i really like that part about the travel on one and i like this keychain thing that is attached to the bag the one from PackSafe. Open the zippers. It only has this and this little flap where you can put, and then it's also RFID. It has PackSafe in there. RFID safe. And if I get the other uh, travel on one that's a little bigger than this one, I'll do another review and compare them. But this bag holds much more than this bag. Again, the reason I like 
this tiny one from Travelon or the other big one that I'm going to get because I'm not sure I'm going to keep this. Um, it's because I can put it inside this pack safe. This is their, I think, 17 liter bag that's very, very popular. And I'm going to do a review on this one. And it's easy to throw this inside the bag like that. Even if I have things in here like my laptop and stuff like that. So I can throw this bag in here easily, even if I have other stuff in here like that. And even if I have other stuff, say the stuff is up, you know, in the bag and maybe this will come up to here. It's easy to throw this one in here because, you know, it's a slimmer bag compared to this one from Paxi. It will fit, but, you know, once you have stuff in the bag, it, it might be hard to fit in this one because it's a little bigger. I hope that makes sense. Okay, and this is how you attach. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Well, this one from PackSafe, you cannot, it's attached on this side, you cannot remove it. And this is a side that is removed and I'll show you how to put this like around a chair because both bags can do that. Okay, so let's assume this is a chair in the, I don't know, the restaurant. You put it like that. And this is the travel on one. And you secure it like that. And then the same thing with the pack safe. You secure it like that. Flip that open. I'm just, I don't have a chair higher than this one. So it's just my way of showing you guys that both bags can be securely secured in a chair or a table. Because if a thief is trying to snatch this, then they're going to have to carry either the whole chair or the table. And that's going to look really awkward. Okay, let's try and pack some stuff. If not, you can put the cards in here. My passports, pack of tissue. Maybe put it back there <laughs> or maybe not because that's already too full you put it there lip balm and some hand lotion i don't know maybe i'll throw them here some medication i put in this little thing throw that in there uh Throw the keys in there. And as you can see, that's already pretty full, but I have some space here for something else. Let's be ambitious. Maybe a pair of sunglasses. No. No. I like to put I like to leave the sunglasses in the case, but so they're not scratched. So you can do that close them that closes but it's what i was saying this part comes up and it really makes it difficult to zip up the bag so you have to literally fold this thing down and zip it up which it zips up but why pay for a bag if i have to do all that and you do have more room here if you want to. All right, let's try pack the pack safe one. Okay, I'll pack the same things. I'm gonna put my wallet in here because this is the RFID part, but this wallet is also RFID. I'll put a link. I got it from Amazon. Passports. So what I meant that this bag is pretty deep. You see, you have so much room, so much room there. Keys. Hold up before I do that. Let me throw in my lip balm, my hand lotion, or maybe the passports. You can actually even put them in here too. Let's switch that. I'm gonna put the passports in the RFID pocket with the with the wallet and zip that up. Put my keys. I have my Sony ZV-1 camera that fits in there perfectly. Some tissues, they fit in there. 
pair of sunglasses uh, and I can actually squeeze in my pair of sunglasses too in here. See, this is what I meant by this bag is way bigger than the other one and that's it up perfectly. So I hope that gives you a better idea of how, you know, the difference in the bag sizes. That's what I was saying. Once I get the other bigger version of this one from Travel On, I'm going to be able to compare that one with this one uh, because I think that will be a um, better comparison in terms of size and how much you can put in both bags. So I hope that helped you make a decision, you know, which bag you want to go with. Both bags are anti-slash they have a mesh inside that you cannot slash around the whole bag you cannot cut this because there's a metal in here and the same thing for the travel on bags but when i got the travel on one i was honestly i was a bit disappointed because i found these clips honestly were a little bit too flimsy for my liking especially after i had already played around with my Paxif bag. This is a bag, guys, I was talking about the bigger version of what I just showed you, the tailored east-west organizer. And I thought, let me look at the clips and see if they're the same as what I just showed you. And unfortunately, they look alike, as you can see from the picture. They're still flimsy. They're still not good quality to me. They feel cheap. I thought Travel On would make the clips stronger because it's a bigger bag carrying more stuff, but it's not, it's the same clips inside also that fabric again i showed you in the in the video is also on this bag which makes it hard to close this zipper and you have to fold this fabric down and i thought okay what's going on maybe i got a wrong bag let me look at amazon let me look at the reviews and this person was complaining about the same thing that material in the bag you have to fold makes the construction look very cheap this person here talked about the zippers again and the metal bits looked cheap and i agree and they sent the bag back this person here talked about the straps being on the same side of the bag which means the straps are behind the bag and not on either side which makes it awkward to carry and i'm going to show you here this is how the straps are versus on the side of a handbag like we're normally used to this person here made me laugh the safety in quotation marks silly little clips and i agree with them the clips are not good quality anyway moving on i know i seem picky but it's the tiny things like this that honestly matter when you're traveling or when you're buying a bag anyway that's enough for my rant thank you guys so much for watching please like this video please subscribe it's really really gonna help my channel thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a lovely day